Welcome to QD Video, brought to you by RoomNow.Live, where every seat is a good seat. Where all the rheumatologists are above average. It's sort of like the Lake Wobegon meeting for rheumatologists. Today's case is PSA versus EOA. 59-year-old female with psoriasis since 2006, taken care of and diagnosed by a major league psoriatic mavian in, in Dallas, um, has been largely managed with methotrexate, weekly methotrexate, for a number of years with a good skin response, but a lot of joint pain, some back pain, a lot of pain and problems in her hands. She'd been treated with uh, secukinumab in the past with a great response to her skin, not to her joints. She never took a TNF inhibitor cyclosporin. She had a past history of back pain. She had a DIP arthrodesis a few years ago. Um, and she really has had no response to her joints for uh, the therapy she received. That included methotrexate, NSAIDs, Tylenol, and secukinumab. Uh, at one point, she took prednisone, but she doesn't remember how that responded. When you look at her x-ray, she has a pin in her DIP3. She has some reactive uh, central bony erosions. And in the DIP3, she has a sclerotic scooped out erosion medially. So is this PSA or is this EOA, inf erosive inflammatory osteoarthritis? Clearly the treatments would be different. Um, PSA would respond really well to um, many of the therapies we would use and, and maybe methotrexate, recent data with the, the uh, PSA seam study, look for that. Um, suggest methotrexate would work. Uh, you know, we know that IL-17 inhibitors do work in PSA. We do also know that um, TNF inhibitors work very well. So there are a lot of things that would work really well. However, all those drugs would really have no effect, have been proven to have no effect in patients with the inf uh, inflammatory osteoarthritis. So the distinguishing features here could be the distribution. Um, joints, DIPs, and PIPs are present for both. Um, other joints might help to sway uh, your decision. So in erosive OA, you can have CMC and MTPs involved. Uh, but in uh, PSA, you can have other joints, but more importantly, you should look for obviously dactylitis and enthesitis that would help you think uh, psoriatic arthritis. The erosions are uh, in OA are central erosions, the gull wing erosions. Uh, where there's a central erosion and an outer lip of reactive bone, um, as opposed to uh, PSA, where there are mousier or marginal erosions um, that um, like what we see here. But this patient had both central erosions and a scooped out, um, well, actually, her scooped out erosion was medial, not necessarily on the lateral edge. So it looks like more of a central erosion of erosive OA. Serology should be negative for OA and less than 15% being seropositive for PSA. The proof is, unfortunately, I think often based in a response or non-response to your best therapies. Erosive OA doesn't respond to anything. Um, PSA has synovitis and tends to respond to the med drugs I mentioned earlier. There are lots of effective th trials uh, and, and therapies for PSA, but not so much for erosive inflammatory OA. And the progression is very slow in both, almost not able to tell just from progression. I think this patient had more erosive inflammatory OA, and since I have no effective therapy, the plan in my best therapy in patients like that is not a biologic, not a DMARD, they don't work, not plaquenol, waste of time. Um, methotrexate, did that a long time ago, didn't do that. Tried every biologic, actually, none of them work. My best therapy for erosive inflammatory OA is a small dose of, of, of steroids, 2.5 milligrams of prednisone, plus mm, somewhere between uh, 1,300, 1,950 of acetaminophen, the long-acting form, Tylenol arthritis, or extended release acetaminophen, uh, given as a once-a-day dose, two or three pills once a day, sometimes twice a day, with that little dose of prednisone is often very good. And then problematic joints, I manage by using Coban cohesive tape. Wait, I have some in the drawer here. Um, for those of you who are listening at home, sorry, you need to look at the video, but the same kind of tape that you use when you're getting your, um, your blood drawn and they wrap the, uh, the gauze with this clingy, stretchy tape. Two inch cohesive or Coban tape, 
wrapped around a PIP and DIP for 14 days is a great way of controlling uh, their pain and making them better. That's it for this QD clinic. Students to Mars.